Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Gris Jitsu, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can get the 4K badge uh, quite easily. Um, what you're going to want to do first off while you're dropping in, you want to just take note really quick uh, where teams are landing and uh, land in a spot not entirely on another team. That's not going to yield you a very good result. Uh, typically, what you want to do is you want to land in a decent POI with some decent loot close by where there's a lot of teams landing. Uh, usually, if you get lucky, they'll kind of flood into your area anyways. Uh, but generally, you'll have to rotate out quickly. Uh, just grab whatever you can get and go and start accumulating damage. Uh, that means third partying fights and all that good stuff. Uh, but to do this quite easily... Uh, you're gonna want to get yourself a Spitfire generally. I hate to say that. Um, I'm using the Hemlock here, but I do eventually find a Spitfire. That is ideal. Okay, I know it's a cheap weapon. I get it. Uh, Spitfire go burr. I get that. Uh, but you're gonna have to put your pride aside and put, you know, put on your big boy panties and uh, grab a Spitfire. Uh, I've happened to get lucky and find one off this poor chap here. And uh, there it is. There's the old the old spitty yep you're gonna grab that thing and just go burr okay I, you're gonna want to get a three times on this thing and you just want to put in some serious serious damage that's all you're gonna do you're just gonna grab a spitfire you're gonna run around the entire map and literally just go burr okay like i said landing in a poi close to a lot of teams is gonna help you out tremendously here um so you're gonna want to do that if if you're i spent all day trying to get this badge for horizon um i have the badge for all, pretty much all the other legends that i typically use but this is the first time i really went after it intentionally and uh it actually took me uh quite some time but that's it's what i found out that i needed to do um i had to quit a lot of matches that i knew i just wasn't gonna get it um but eventually everything lined up I got the Spitfire, I got the three times, I got a purple mag on that thing, I got a stock, I was ready to rock and roll, I found a bunch of ammo, and those are the games that you know you got a shot, and right here I'm already up to 2,000 damage, and we, you know, we still got five squads left, I'm still in this fight for the 4k badge uh, quite easily, but the other thing you want to do is farm people, I let that Loba get rezzed by her teammates just so that her teammates would get drawn in there, um, so that they would come in, you know, res her, and then we were close by and ready to ambush them when they brought her back in. Uh, what I didn't expect, however, is that this lifeline was putting up quite a fight, and uh, she put up some trouble um, and almost ended our game. But that's what we had to do. We had to farm these these kiddos here. Uh, felt bad to do it, especially with the Spitfire, but that's just how you have to do it. Uh, kill somebody. Uh, leave them to get res and then ambush when you can and then also another thing that you really 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 want to do um, Is you want to go for hard thirsts your damage actually counts for you? Uh, with downed enemies uh, Not the shield don't just shoot the shield that doesn't count you actually got to hit their flesh um, I did test that out you want to thirst all your kills even if your teammates take your kills you can still get a quick, easy 100 damage off of that person uh, just by thirsting your teammates' kill for them. Uh, it works better if you have teammates uh, that you can invite to your game and let them know that, hey, I'm going for the 4K badge. Um, let me farm as much damage as I can and just be there for me when things get, you know, tough and rugged. Um, that's why I had that Gibby on my team, and he was doing a very good job of just letting me farm damage, keeping me safe relatively. Um, he did get clapped by the Kraber a couple of times there, but luckily I had the gold bag, get him back in the fight really quick. And also be hyper aware of being pinched. You don't want to get yourself pinched. That Wraith right there luckily was just a solo uh, rat. Um, so no real danger of being pinched, but you don't want your game ended early because you were getting greedy f uh, farming damage not paying attention, tunneled in, not focused, um, and get yourself in a shitty situation. So that's exactly what I did right there. I made a quick rotation uh, because I heard some sounds, and I definitely uh, did not want to get pinched given how close I am already. We're already at 3K. Um, so I just definitely moved out of that situation 
So you got to be aware. I was very hyper aware listening to my headphones, listening to what I had going on around me, um, paying attention, not getting tunnel visioned and uh, staying focused. And same right here. You know, I, I know that Wraith is still around. Um, she chose to pick on my buddy and not me. So that was a good thing for me. And then again, I'm just going to farm damage. And as you can see, we were fighting the same team for a very long time. We weren't pushing in. We weren't, you know, getting too hasty just farming them just farming damage off of them so you're going to want to do that you don't want to go in for the kill way too quickly you just want to farm them and you know right here of course just spitfire go bird dude this thing is just unfair but it is your best chance at getting that 4k and here you're going to go for the thirst there it is there's the 4k easy peasy make sure you guys just thirst those downs uh, of course i didn't realize i was there at that 4k at that point i thought i needed all that damage but that's an easy 100 damage per legend right there so make sure you guys thirst the downs thank you guys for watching i hope this video was helpful for you this is a quick easy way to get that 4k badge i do stream to twitch every monday wednesday friday and saturday at 4 30 p.m pacific standard time and link will be in the description twitch.tv forward slash chris thank you guys i'm out